Hey guys, what's up? Chris the Asian here, and here's part two. Um, before I continue, some may be thinking, should I work on the motherboard now, or put the motherboard in, then work on it? Well, here's a problem with that. And I'll show you. When you work on the motherboard out here, you can figure out where your connectors are, Serie ATA, where your, your power um, power connector is going to be, etc., etc. And so when you have the power supply in there, and then you hook up everything here, 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 and everywhere else, um, it's going to be hard as hell to figure out where to connect these here. What you're seeing here is, I don't know if I can get a closer zoom. There we go. It's going to get kind of blurry. But that right there is where you connect these bad boys. Let's see if I can find it. And here we go. Right here. What you see here, you have, well, you have a speaker connector. You have a reset switch connector. You have a power LED connector. Hard drive LED. And, of course, you can never forget the power switch connector. Um, every motherboard varies from every other motherboard. So, if you can figure out, basically you gotta look at, look right here on the motherboard. There's a little thing it'll show uh, power, power LED, IDE, LED, which is the hard drive LED, power switch where that goes, and uh, reset switch and speakers where that goes. Um, that's gonna be your most difficult thing right there is to figure out which one to put, which what goes where. Even though these are colored, like, one thing's color green, but it goes on a color red. As long as it says, if the power switch says it goes for that one and it's bright yellow, put it there. Um, that would be the most difficult part of putting your computer together is that. Anyways, on with this. Well, we're going to start with the simplest thing first, installing RAM. Your RAM can only go in one way. Don't force it if it's not going in. As you can tell here, there's a little notch. There's less pins over here, and there's more pins over here. If you look on your um, RAM connector right here, the RAM slot, you see there's a long slit right here and a short slit right here. Um, what you do is you just stick your RAM in there. Short ends usually on the bottom. Apply pressure both at the top and bottom. You hear these two click, and that's that. And to install more RAM, if you can tell, let me take this one out. In order to run dual channel RAM, you gotta put them in the same color slot. So you put one in the blue here, you put one in the blue here. Don't put them side by side. Unless they're side by side and they're the same color, then do that. But when running dual channel uh, RAM, just stick one in the blue, apply pressure to your click, and connect this, apply pressure, click, click. That's that. Eh, yeah. Ground yourself. Remember that. Always ground yourself. Now, I'm working on the CPU. Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and take this out. And be very careful with that. It's going to look like that. Everything's going to be locked down. So what you got to do is lift this up. And on the corner, there's a little gold notch. And right here, on the uh, CPU slot, there's a little area, a notch notification. So this can only go in one way. So you just put that in very carefully, lock the arm down, that's that. And like I said, look for that notch and make sure it's lined up. Every motherboard's kind of different. Every CPU socket's different too. So there should be some kind of indicator where, to, how, where and how to put the processor in. I cannot stress this enough. If you manage to bend these pins on an AMD processor, get like a mechanical pencil or get like a credit card to straighten them out as much as you can. Be very careful because it's made out of gold and it's very delicate. So you gotta treat it like it's a woman, I guess you can say. Anyways, what's next to do? Well, right now would be a good time to um, install your heatsink. And when installing this, Give me one second. When installing your heatsink, 
Um, get some rubbing alcohol, put it on the cloth, you know, wipe this down, you know, bottom the heat sink, get a little bit of alcohol, wipe it down, and get a dry side, wipe it down, get the dry side, wipe it down too. Clear all the old compound if it has any. If it's brand new, you're good to go. Now, for me, there are numerous of ways to apply thermal compound. Um, the best way I can tell you is the line method. So, let me get this undone. There we go. Now the line method. Um, where I guess horizontal with the uh, motherboard. Just start here. Apply a little compound. Let it come up. Be patient. Apply a little cross right there. And any leftovers I just put on the side. Now, that amount, people say it looks like a grain of sand, people say this, people say that, but um, here's a book of matches so I, you can get a visual idea of how thick that should be and how long it should be. A lot of people don't show this on YouTube when applying thermal compound, but there you go. Next, yeah, yeah. yes, yes, we apply the heat sink, apply the little heat sink. Now first you gotta find that uh, power connector that's a little ways up there beside the, this heat sink right here apply, like, apply, excuse me, connect that till it stays in place now with this one uh, this processor, or heat sink, excuse me uh, you got to put it on here make sure this lever's uh, up get this part hook it on that side make sure this is in first hook it on the notch on the other side make sure that's in yep that's in so there's a little black notch in the center you hook it on there then you hook this side you just press down and you should hear it catch I need two hands for this Let's see where is it at there we go Apply it down, and you hear it click. Then with this one, you just pull the lever down and it stays in place. Let's see. And let me see. Ah, didn't catch all the way. There. Click. That catches. Up. This goes forward. And there we go. And there you have it. The heat sink is on the motherboard. I'm so sick. Yeah.